I, um, I was at the Tonys two years ago and, um, I w when I was nominated for the first time and I got to be there with Philip Seymour Hoffman because we had done Death of a Salesman together. We had played father and son in that play. So I was able to sit across the aisle from a hero of mine and, and a man that became a friend and a mentor and someone that I love very, very dearly and still love and still remember always, of course, constantly. Um, I think sharing that moment with him and Mike Nichols and watching Mike Nichols go and receive the award for Best Revival um, it was uh, a profound moment that I will never forget. Uh, that I get to celebrate my company, that I get to celebrate the, the crew at the Neil Simon Theatre, the, the stage managers, I get to celebrate all the people that make this show work. So, you know, and I'm here with my dad, so that's beautiful. And my mum, yeah, it's beautiful. You know, the big thing is that in theater, you can't say, stop, 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 let's go back to the top, I want to try it again, right? Like, you've got to get it right out of the gate. So, um, I'm excited to work in that way again. Um, I'm just so thrilled to be a part of this community, and I'm so excited to be coming back to Broadway in the fall. So, I think Broadway really is such a community, and I think that's what's special about this award show, is that it really is about artists and artisans who are who work together in a communal way to create art together. And, it just, and that's true of film and television, but Broadway is such a community because it's got that New York heart to it. So I just love being here and, and being a member of that very special community. Being here with uh, the, the cast and, um, you know, enjoying, you know, we, we're the most nominated play in Tony history. That, that's that's uh, an accomplishment, something we're proud of. And, and just try to enjoy the night. and and uh, seeing everybody else, you know, who's working on Broadway. The most memorable was uh, I, uh, the first time I, I hosted, I co-hosted with Glenn Close and Gregory Hines. And I, I loved Gregory Hines, um, you know, gone far too soon. One of the, the, maybe the most talented man I ever met, who we did a number together, a medley of, of uh, women's songs. And, um, and he was, you know, just to sing and dance with Gregory Hines. That, without a doubt, is my, my favorite moment ever on, on, from the Tonys. What comes to my mind first and foremost is last year at the Tonys, getting to watch my friend Gavin Creel win a Tony. Um, it was really, really special, really, really special. And so that's the one where it was, and he licked the Tony Award on stage. It was really just, you know, he's a classy guy. <laughs> I, I'm just excited for our show, for the band's visit, to do well, because I want a lot of people to see it, more people to see it. I, I hope that when it does tour, you know, then having a, a few Tony feathers in our cap will bring more people in. And I hope that, you know, I want it to have a long life, and that's something that the Tonys can give you. So, because we, we were told that we were going to perform at the Tonys, and I thought, oh my goodness, I have to see what that looks like. So I started Googling um, classic Tony performances. So I was watching um, Dreamgirls with Jennifer Holliday from, I don't know when, 1980 or something like that. And then, and then Patti LuPone doing Evita with Mandy Patinkin and... So I, I, I was watching some classic Tony performances, and trying to get in the mood. <laughs> I mean, I'm just here to celebrate a crazy night, and as you know, like celebrate this small show that celebrates peaceful coexistence between Middle Eastern people. That's what I'm excited for. And to have it sort of on this stage, get this kind of visibility, that's what I'm excited for. That's why I'm here. My favorite Tony Awards moment is in the Heights, 96,000. I remember watching that in high school, and, and I think Chris Jackson is somewhere here. That's Chris Jackson, and I love him, and, and he's become a mentor and role model of mine, so to be here next to him after having sort of fallen in love with the theater through his performance, and, that, and that, that, that's why, that's exciting. That's my favorite. 